Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day six. So today we are continuing to build our contact database, and we are going to show you a new way to import contacts in bulk. So back on day four, we brought contacts in potentially in bulk from our phone. Today we're going to bring contacts in bulk via a CSV or Excel style formatted file. Where would you get a CSV file? Well, you might have a CSV file from a past CRM that you've utilized. You might have a CSV file if you're exporting contacts from your phone, from Google Contacts, from, um, you might have a, a, I don't know, a list of alumni that you went to school with. Maybe it's your fraternity brothers, sorority sisters, maybe it's past employee rosters. There's a variety of different avenues where you might have a CSV file of contacts and contact information that you want to bring into command in bulk. And we're going to show you how to do that today. So I'm going to utilize a CSV file that has been provided to me by my amazing friend, Brooke Silva, also an RTT up on the East coast. And you can see here is that CSV file. So we have got, standard contact information such as first name last name email address notes we've got a couple of tags we've got the source and birthday and then yesterday we talked about creating custom fields well you can see the importance of creating those custom fields because on this import file we actually have a column for children's name if we had not created that custom field yesterday this column would not import into command. So you do have the ability, if you're exporting data from somewhere and there's a piece of data that you have that there's not a field for in command yet, go create that custom field before you create or do this actual CSV import. So we already have children's name, that's a custom field we've created. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the process of importing this file. So I'm gonna close this out we are going to go back into command. We're going to open up the contacts applet, second one down. And you'll see next to the create or add contact button, we've got an import button. So this is the button we're going to use today to bring in this CSV file. So I'm going to click on import. And you can see that we do have the ability to download a pre-made template if you choose to. But the reality is you can actually import any CSV file through the mapping process that's about to happen. So first it's going to ask me, Hey, go find that file. Here's that file. We're going to open it up. You can see that the file was actually uploaded. It confirmed that it's a CSV file and that it's not been previously uploaded. So I can go ahead and click on continue to go to the next field. Uh, now you can see that command recognizes every column that is in that CSV file that we actually just chose to import. And now it's saying, where do you want that data to go inside of command? So it'll give you the column header and then the first piece of data inside of that column header. So think of this kind of like, here's your row one and here was row two. So where do I want first name to go? I've got an option of all of the different fields that are available inside of command that I might want to map to. You can see there's a whole series of them. I found it's best to type in what you're looking for as compared to going through and searching. So first name, you can see we've got two options there. We're gonna map first name to first name. I'm gonna type in last to last name. Email, we've got several options there, but I'm gonna go with primary email. If I type in address, I'll get several options on address, but we're gonna use primary address line one. Since we do have two lines, we'll use primary address line one. If I type in address again, you'll see we can choose primary address line two. We'll type in city, state, zip, postal. Now we're getting into some additional fields. So we've got some notes. We wanna map those to our notes field. We've got two columns of tags, but we only have one place to map those. The nice thing is tags is one of the few columns that can be used twice or more often to be mapped to. Once you choose first name, you can't map last name also to first name, right? So this is one of the few fields inside command where it will combine your columns. Last three, we've got source. So we can choose lead source. 
we've got birthday, we're gonna choose birthday, and then we have children's name. The only reason that one's going to show up is that we created that custom field yesterday. So if you have not created custom fields and you're searching for this in your dropdown, it is not gonna show up. We can click on continue and it will show us all of our contacts on the left-hand side and then what they're going to look like when they are imported. Now note that some of the fields don't actually show up on this preview, such as notes, right? You can see notes is not available, um, but it does bring in children's name as one of our custom fields. Last thing we only, if we find out there's any issues, right? We can click on this back arrow to remap so that you don't have to start all the way over. <clears throat> but once we looked at multiple contacts and we feel like, yep, uh, so far so good, might come down and check every five, maybe every 10, depending on how many you're bringing in. If everything looks good, we're gonna click on finalize import. And it's gonna give us a heads up, hey, your contacts are being imported, depending on how big the file is, might take a second. We're gonna return to contacts. And you can see we also get a kind of a banner notification here at the top that you are going through an import. So command might be a little bit slower as this import is brought in. We can always choose to click on refresh at any point and see if the import is finished. And you can see that nice job, got an import going on, kind of gives you a little bit of kudos. And we can now see that in addition to A Seller and Marty McFly, we have all of those new contacts that we just imported. So if we come into Peggy Hill, you can see the note came in, email came in. We didn't have any phone numbers to map, but we did have an address. Right, we've got a birth date, and here at the bottom, we've got our custom fields, and you can see Bobby came in as Peggy's son's or children's name as well. So that is the bulk import option inside of the contacts applet. And remember, it does have to be a CSV file. So it's gotta be .csv for your file name. Um, my recommendation, if you're bringing in really big files, maybe start with like five or 10, just kind of make a, a primary copy and then delete all but the first 10, save that as a secondary copy, bring in your secondary copy first so that you get 10 in there, you double check, make sure they all look good, and then you can go with a much larger import after that. It's just a lot easier to clean up 10 contacts if for some reason they didn't come in correct than it is to clean up 2,000 contacts or whatever that may be. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Enjoying your weekend. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.